this could be us So back to what I was saying This could be us The Top 10 Greatest Scientists in History Hello and welcome to yet another amazing edition. Have we got science enthusiasts in the house? I bet we do. Now today's video is specifically for you as we shall be talking about scientists that have changed the landscape in our world going back in history. Do take a second to hit that subscribe button on your screen. That way you're sure to always stay updated with our latest videos. Great, let's get right into the business of the day. On the number 10 spot, we have Archimedes, 287 to 212 BC. Regarded as the greatest mathematician ever, Archimedes developed profound and influential knowledge on mathematical physics and engineering that are widely used in machines as well as in constructions. Born in 287 BC, Archimedes is one of the finest scientists who broke through in both theories and practice. Archimedes was well known for his inventions and scientific discoveries. The most famous of these were the Archimedes screw, a device for raising water that is still used in crop irrigation and sewage treatment plants today. He introduced infinitesimals and laid the foundation for calculus. He gave descriptions on the first finite geometric progression, computed areas and volumes of sphere and parabolic segments. He also discovered the laws of lever, density, fluid equilibrium, buoyancy in different field statics and hydrostatics. He's regarded as the prophet to the formal science that was started in ancient Greece. Give me a place to stand and I can move the whole world, he said, and we can still feel the impact of his generosity even today. All other scientists after him stand on his shoulders. Even though most of his work was burned in the Museum of Alexandria, the remnants gave enough ideas for modern day science and technology. Rosalind Franklin 1920 to 1958 AD, occupies the ninth spot. In 1962, Francis Crick, James Watson, and Maurice Wilkins shared the Nobel Prize for describing DNA's double helix structure, arguably the greatest discovery of the 20th century. But no one mentioned Rosalind Franklin, arguably the greatest snub of the 20th century. The British-born Franklin was a firebrand, a perfectionist who worked in isolation, she was prickly, did not make friends easily, but when she did, she was outgoing and loyal, Jennifer Glynn wrote in My Sister Rosalind Franklin. Franklin was also a brilliant chemist and a master of X-ray crystallography, an imaging technique that reveals the molecular structure of matter based on the pattern of scattered X-ray beams. Her early research into the microstructures of carbon and graphite are still cited, but her work with DNA was the most significant, and it may have won three men a Nobel. And number eight, we have Charles Darwin, 1809 to 1882 AD. Charles Darwin would not have been anyone's first guess for a revolutionary scientist. As a young man, his main interests were collecting beetles and studying geology in the countryside, occasionally skipping out on his classes at the University of Edinburgh Medical School to do so. It was a chance invitation in 1831 to join a journey around the world that would make Darwin, who had once studied to become a country person, the father of evolutionary biology. Darwin's observations pushed him to a disturbing realization. The Victorian era theories of animal origins were all wrong. Most people in Darwin's time still adhered to creationism, the idea that a divine being was responsible for the diversity of life that we find on Earth. Darwin's observations implied a completely different process. He noticed small differences between numbers of the same species that seemed to depend upon where they lived. This suggested not only that species could change, already a divisive concept back then, but also that the changes were driven purely by environmental factors instead of divine intervention. Today, we call this natural selection. Though Darwin's theory was logically sound and backed up by reams of evidence, his ideas faced sharp criticism from adherents of creationism and the religious establishment around the world. Michael Faraday, 1791, to 1867 AD sits at number seven. Born on 1791, British citizen Michael Faraday was a son of a blacksmith who had to leave school in the fourth grade. He started working as a bookbinder and taught himself to read and write. He developed a fascination with science and particularly electricity after he studied a lot of serious academic works during his days. 
Faraday is especially known for his discoveries of electromagnetic inductions and rotations, field theory, magnetization, and the magneto-optical effect. This humble genius invented the electric motor and Faraday's ring. Faraday's inquisitive and curious nature made him take chemistry lectures and taught at the Royal Institution as a lecturer later when Humphrey Davy retired. Faraday also published research papers on optical deceptions, condensation of gases, and isolation of benzene from gas oils. He also wrote books on experimental research in electricity and the chemical history of the candle. Faraday died in 1867. At number 6, Thomas Alva Edison. 1847 to 1931 AD. Thomas Alva Edison, nicknamed the Wizard of Menlo Park, was born in 1847. Excelled as both a scientist and inventor, Edison patented a whopping total of 1,093 inventions in his lifetime. Most of the inventions that came from Edison are batteries, phonographs, cement, mining, telegraphs, lights, and powers. He also improved the telephone made by Graham Bell and invented the kinetoscope, that was used for viewing moving films. He was seen working almost more than 20 hours a day. Edison masterminded the digital voting system with his electrographic vote recorder for legislators in Congress. He also proposed ideas on preserving fruits by keeping it in a vacuum. Edison pioneered the idea for storage batteries that was later used by Henry Ford in his automobile. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration is one of the most famous quotes by this genius. He died in the year 1931. Marie Curie Sklodowska, 1867-1934 AD, occupies the number 5 position. Marie Curie holds the record for the first female to be awarded a Nobel Prize. Inventor and scientist Curie was born as the youngest of five children in the year 1867 in Warsaw, Poland. Mary Curie has always remained a source of inspiration and motivation for different female scientists because of her determination to work. She invented the first mobile x-ray machine which helped to check the injured soldiers on the battlefield. Radium is another great invention of hers. Curie experimented different elements to check their radioactivity and found thorium. She also invented the pitch blend which was the source of radiation in a mixture more powerful than uranium or thorium. She is also called the mother of the atom bomb with her invention of the radioactive materials. However, with all her brilliance, hard work, and patience in careful experiments, her own invention killed her because of radiation poisoning in 1934. At number 4, we have Louis Pasteur, 1822-1895 AD. Louis Pasteur made astounding contributions in the field of science, technology, and medicine. This genius was born in 1822 and spent his life working on chemistry and microbiology. Pasteur was the first ever scientist to study fermentation in food elements that was caused by microbes. He also explained biogenesis and proposed a theory named as the germ theory. He also created a process for toning and treating milk that would free it from the damage causing microbes, which he called pasteurization. Pasteur is also regarded as the first man on earth to ever discover the cure for Pierpol fever and make the vaccines for rabies and anthrax. He also explained the asymmetry in various crystals on a molecular level. His breadth of accomplishments and approaches in different fields of discoveries and inventions makes him a giant genius. He died in 1895. And now, the top three greatest scientists in history. Sitting at number three is... Sir Isaac Newton, 1643 to 1727 AD. Born in 1643 in Woolsthorpe, England, Sir Isaac Newton is best known for his law on gravitation. He was a poor student at school or at running the family estate. However, he loved making mechanical toys and models of windmills. Newton explained the theory of gravity and gravitational pull by inventing calculus as no other principles could explain it. The new revolution in mathematics Calculus was derived from his binomial theorem to infinite series, which accurately could measure the area inside the curve or rate of change of it. He also explained the theory on tides, which occurred due to the gravitational pull from the sun, moon, and earth. He also invented the reflecting telescope. Newton's law can be found in different areas of mechanics, optics, and chemistry. He was knighted with the title Sir by Queen Anne in 1705. 
Newton died at the age of 84 in 1727. Number 2. Albert Einstein, 1879 to 1955 AD. Born in 1879 in Ulm, Germany, Einstein is considered as one of the greatest revolutionary scientists the world has ever known. The man of the century has some spectacular works in physics, which even makes him the father of modern physics for his contribution in developing the general theory of relativity. The world's most famous equation, E equals MC square, on which the bomb is based, comes from this theory. One of the greatest scientists of the 20th century, Einstein's special theory of relativity revolutionized physics, which even challenged other scientists. Albert Einstein's genius mind for the scientific advancement caused immeasurable change to the world. Together with his intellect, he was also a celebrity with his flirtatious behavior that could impress any woman. This rare genius was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1921 for his work on theoretical physics and for his discovery of the photoelectric effect. Voted the greatest physicist ever, Einstein died in 1955 in Princeton, New Jersey. And now to the number one scientist that left his footprint in the sands of time. Nikola Tesla, 1856-1943 AD. Without question, this 1846 born man was a cool geek. This Serbian born scientist tops the list because of his immense knowledge in different fields of science and technology. He could speak eight languages, recite a whole book completely just off one reading, make a device just by seeing it once and not writing down anything. A funny fact about Tesla was that he was celibate his whole life. Tesla had developed almost everything by himself and did not expose any of it, which later was invented by other scientists in this time. Tesla had generated alternating current before Edison knew about charges. His designs advanced alternating current at the start of the electric age and allowed utilities to send current over vast distances, powering American homes across the country. He developed the Tesla coil, a high voltage transformer and techniques to transmit power wirelessly. Cell phone makers and others are just now utilizing the potential of this idea. There was almost nothing that Tesla did not do. The first hydroelectricity plant in Niagara Falls, experiments with cryogenic engineering transistors, radio wave recorder from outer space were all built by Tesla. Remote controls, neon lighting, modern electric motors, earthquake machines are all fine inventions from Tesla. He was a true genius. However, most of his ideas and inventions were either copied, stolen, or taken by somebody else. Tesla found a way to power a house with electric lightning for electricity purposes, but did not share it, thinking somebody else will take it. This incredible mind created a revolution with his inventions. He was a future thinker, and his mind would run on any wavelength. However, Tesla was so obsessed with his work, which turned out to be a disease that he suffered from. He died tragically in a hotel room and was found dead only two days after his death, in 1943. That's all for today's video. I bet you enjoyed it. I'd like you to leave a like and subscribe to this channel so you can always get to see our latest publication. Thanks for watching.